there's going to come a day soon where you you wish you wish you had taken advantage of the availability of so many things right now that are easy to get and cheap to get that will be so invaluable in the near future. Just as, a, as an example, let's take 22 long rifle ammo, 22 LR. This is ammo. It's not used for self-defense or even attacking people. It's not used by the military. It's used by sort of ranchers to maybe shoot groundhogs or squirrels or protect their garden. There might be a few people that try to use it for self-defense, but it's not not very effective, obviously. Never, nevertheless, the 22 LR ammo is considered a barter item. And if there's a, any kind of a collapse scenario, this ammo is as good as gold. And during the 20, what was it, 2012, the, um, the big shooting, Sandy Hook, remember that? And I think that was late 2012. After that shooting, it was very difficult to get any kind of ammunition, especially common ammo. And at that time, 22 LR ammo was as much as 25 cents per round. 25 cents. Now, before that shooting, it was about 5 to 6 cents per round. It went up to 25 per, uh, cents per round. Well, today, as I'm recording this, this is after, after the Black Friday weekend of 2018, I was able to purchase 22 LR ammo on sale during Black Friday at an online retailer. I think it was Midway USA for 3.6 cents per round. Now, this ammo will be invaluable, again, in, in a barter situation, in a chaos, um, grid down, social unrest, civil war, and yet you can buy it today for 3.6 pennies per round, you know, 100 rounds for $3.60, or 1,000 rounds for $36. That thousand rounds, it's like, again, it's like gold. You could trade it for almost anything. You could trade it for antibiotics. You could trade it for emergency medicine. You could trade it for radio. You could trade it for batteries. You could trade it for gold. And by the way, you could trade gold for almost anything as well. But ammo is even more, it's got more utility than gold to a typical person. People can use ammo right now, today. A lot of people have, you know, like a Ruger 1022 little farm rifle. Or they have a little 22 pistol. There's a really good 22 pistol that's made out of aluminum. It's a revolver. So it doesn't suffer from the cycling problems that 22 pistols usually have if they're semi-automatic. I forgot who makes it. It seems like maybe it's Ruger. I'd have to check, though. Nah, now I'm thinking it's Smith & Wesson. Anyway, I'd have to check. But it's an aluminum revolver. I think it holds 10 rounds. Does that sound right? Maybe it's 8. Some, it holds a lot of rounds. Of 22 and it's a great little camping revolver or you know something to scare away an animal or as a last resort self-defense <laughs> although again it's not that effective but nevertheless that ammo is worth something so it's, that's just an example this is not a podcast about ammunition that's just an example of things that you can get today that are dirt cheap that you will wish you had when a collapse comes other things like believe it or not lard you can go to the grocery store today and you can buy lard i think in espanol isn't that manteca lard or is that a brand of lard seems that for some reason that word's popping into my head manteca lard um you can put lard into baked beans or like refried beans in fact the mexican restaurants that make the best beans put lard in it and in a, in a collapse or a survival scenario, the lard is, of course, an extremely dense source of calories. And you can put lard in, you know, cookie dough. <laughs> you can put lard in chili. You can put lard in anything. And you have a source of calories that's portable and that stores pretty well for a long period of time. If you're not into lard, and I'm not, it sounds pretty gross, actually, but other things are peanut butter or just butter, just cow's butter. Butter is, you know, very valuable. And also, another one is salt. So I'm surrounded by all kinds of salt because we import Himalayan sea salt. Well, I guess it's Himalayan formerly sea salt. Now it's 
in, inside a mountain, so it's mountain salt. But this salt is extremely valuable. It's, just, it's sodium chloride and plus some other minerals. But if you think about it, in a collapse scenario, salt is invaluable. Salt, you got to have salt to live. You can use salt as a preservative to salt meats. Salt makes everything taste better. And if you don't have salt, your body can't retain water and you have a medical problem. So salt is actually extremely important in a survival situation. People pay a lot of money for salt. Salt used to be money in the Roman times, right? You've heard that. Uh, soldiers were paid in salt. Why? Because salt is universal. You can barter salt anywhere. Well, right now, today, you can buy salt even from our store, healthrangerstore.com, the Himalayan salt. Or you can buy salt lamps, which are really portable. It's a solid lamp. It's a, it's a giant salt rock. I've got so many of them. <laughs> it's, you're going to laugh. This is funny. Um, we, we can't sell the ones that are damaged. And so when there's a salt lamp that looks damaged or looks weird, I, I get it and I give it to my goats. And goats like to eat salt, so they lick these salt lamps. So if you go to my ranch and you see my Nigerian dwarf goats, they're licking salt. And, of course, my donkeys are getting fed all the organic you know, flaxseed and everything else that also got damaged by the forklifts. Uh, because every, everything comes to my ranch, but the salt is super valuable. So I've got all this salt. I, I mean, I've got literally at this point hundreds of salt lamps. And I feed them to the goats. But I also know that, hey, if, if push comes to shove, guess what? This is a barter item. I can barter salt for anything. You could trade salt for gold. Because if someone's got gold but they don't have any salt, they're going to be willing to trade gold for salt. Because <laughs> they, they need some salt. So salt, again, it's dirt cheap, and you can even just go to the grocery store. You don't, even, you don't have to buy Himalayan salt, just like any salt. Just iodized salt. What's the brand? Morton's, I think that's a common brand. Or any kind of salt, rock salt. You can go to a hardware store, and you can buy like salt for your pool in, I don't know, 40-pound bags or something, as long as it doesn't have any additives in it. Sometimes they do put, they put whiteners in it and crap like that that you don't want to eat. But if it's just pure salt doesn't matter if it's salt for, for a pool or salt for, for food or whatever. You can just go load up on salt. And what are you doing? Well, you're, you're prepping. That's barter. It's gold, in essence. So, you know, 22 ammo, salt, bags of salt, uh, peanut butter, cow's butter, you know, storable food, all that stuff. It's worth its weight in gold, in, in, in the right circumstances, I should add. And yet, all this stuff is so available right now, like water filters, you know, portable water filters, especially that you can you can carry around. You know, you can you can put it in a backpack or put it in a vehicle, what have you. They're very very valuable in the right circumstances, or just lighters, like Bic lighters. And by the way, don't mess with the the off brand lighters; they all suck. But Bic works. Just go online, buy a bunch of Bic lighters, stash them away. They're going to be worth their weight in gold. In the right circumstances, or or batteries, certain kinds of batteries. I like the uh, the lithium energizer AA batteries, which last over ten years uh, in storage, and then they have a very good life for all kinds of things. A lot of even a lot of firearms optics these days, they use AA batteries. So AA batteries can be used in GPS devices, can be used in flashlights. I mean, obviously, it's a very, very valuable universal barter item, and people will run out because people aren't stocking up on that. And speaking of stocking up, you know, there's iodine. Everybody needs iodine. You know, people want insulin. People want antibiotics. You can stock up on fish antibiotics. They're readily available right now. And you can stock up on them now easily. UPS will bring them to your door. But not in a civil war, they won't. So many things. I just want you to think about this. So many things that you can get today that are super easy to get. You, you, you take it for granted. We all do. We think, oh, man, we're going to order it online and, and Amazon's going to ship it to us in two days. Or maybe you're ordering from us, Health Ranger Store, and you're going to get it in two to four days. We're not quite as fast as Amazon, but our stuff is cleaner and better. <laughs> but Anyway, you're, you, you take it for granted. You're like, ah, I can just order stuff anytime I want. So why do I need to stock up? Well, the answer is because at some point you're not going to be able to stock up. You're going you're gonna to wish you had stocked up. 
you're only going to be able to to use what you have previously stored and that that can be a dwindling list that can be stuff that you know you tell yourself gosh why didn't i get more of that that would have been awesome would have been handy but you know that's life so learn from it and stock up now while you can you can read my website collapse.news or also, wait, a better one, survival.news. Survival.news is all about survival strategies, and survival gear, things like that. Check it out. Thanks for listening. Mike Adams here. Take care. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products, for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.